What's going on, guys? D Wade is a modern day Ahab. Now, for those who aren't familiar with Ahab, Ahab's story is found in 1 Kings, beginning at chapter 16. Ahab was a king of Israel. He was a wicked king and he was an absolute simp because he was married to a woman named Jezebel. Now, Dwayne Wade is a modern day version of that because Dwayne Wade is an example of what can happen to a man who allows a wicked woman to control his life. And I believe Gabrielle Union is a wicked woman because of what she has done with Dwayne Wade's children. Case in point, Zion Wade, who has now legally changed his name to Zion Wade. Gabrielle Union was right there the whole time, promoting, pushing, and affirming, and encouraging Zion, now Zaya, to pursue this stuff. I want you to listen to Gabrielle Union's rant as she accepts this NAACP award and listen to her manipulation how she's conflating trans rights with black rights and the things that black people went through. Listen to how she conflates those things. Listen to the manipulation, and I'm going to come right back. Thank you, Derek and the NAACP. It's, it's humbling to stand here surrounded by friends and heroes, OGs and icons all working to advance the lives of black people and pay respect to an organization that has led us through over a century of relentless challenge, pain, triumph, and change. And now stands with us again at the foot of a very new era of activism. A new era that demands our collective answer to one simple question. Will we fight for some or will we fight for all of our people? Let's just name a couple hard truths. First, the intersection of black rights and the rights of the LGBTQIA, trans and gender nonconforming people continues to be rough. It's a huge understatement. Even as we demand equality at the top of our lungs, we consistently fail to extend our advocacy to protect some of our most vulnerable among us. And, and second, black trans people are being targeted, terrorized, and hunted in this country. Every day, everywhere. And there's rarely a whisper about it. We honestly don't approach this work as, as, as activists or leaders as, as much as we do this as parents. Parents who love our children and will do, will do whatever the hell we can to, to, to keep them seen and secure and safe. This is a conversation worth having in ways that can actually build bridges, right? That don't fan the flames of hatred or division. That don't enable lawmakers or justice systems to look the other way when black trans people are under attack. Don't drive more young people to hate themselves or harm themselves. They don't cost people their lives. So we are humbled and we are hopeful for the future. I'm hopeful, we are hopeful that we may witness a real shift in the fight for justice. The moment the movement makes room for everyone, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, some might hear passion, but I hear manipulation. I hear someone talking loud, talking with emotion, but spewing utter insanity. Gabrielle Union is empowering the youth to go against the way God created them to be. That is evil. That is sinful. First and foremost, those aren't her biological children. So one has to wonder why she's so emboldened and so enthusiastically speaking on this process that Zion now Zion is transitioning. It could be that she's actually promoting an agenda. She has an agenda that she's trying to push and Zion now Zion 
It's just the, the vehicle that's driving her agenda. She doesn't truly care about those children. She doesn't care about this person's mental health because studies show that when children transition and when they are firm, it doesn't improve their mental health. This is why I believe this is D Wade's fault for allowing Gabrielle Union to control his life and control the direction of his family. Dwayne Wade is a modern day Ahab. Listen, Ahab was an Israelite king who married a Sidonian woman named Jezebel and became involved in worshiping Baal, her god, the god of her people. Dwayne Wade was a humble guy who married his high school sweetheart and had children with her. But when he got with Gabrielle and Union, he changed. He began following the actions of the Hollywood elites. His basketball career fell off and Gabrielle Union, she consumed more of his attention. Ahab built a house to Baal, a false god, in the capital city of Samaria and made a pole as a tool to worship this pagan god. When Dwayne Wade married Gabrielle Union, he built his house on Gabrielle Union. He gave her more influence and authority over his children and now we're looking at the aftermath of it. D. Wade is another example of a poor father. Listen, fathers not only lead by example, but fathers are supposed to raise their children and lead their children toward the path of righteousness, doing what thus saith the Lord, following the commands of God and, and reading the scriptures and building their house upon the rock. D. Wade is allowing Gabriel Union to speak life and affirm these rebellious ways, these actions that are not of God and by virtue of Dwayne Wade's lack of action he's leading his children and his family toward destruction. They might be thinking that the only way to ensure that Zaya now Zaya has a fruitful and productive life is to affirm this insanity they're wrong. The solution is not to affirm this. The solution is biblical correction, counseling and prayer. Those who are in the LGBTQ plus community and those who are talking about their non-binary and stuff like that, those are mental and spiritual issues. Mental and spiritual issues require mental and spiritual solutions. The Bible says in Romans 12 to do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God what is good and acceptable and perfect in other words if a person wants to know what is good for their life what is God's will for their life the way to understand that is not conform to the things of this world these new ideologies and philosophies these <laughs> these these things that men have created and con contrived in their mind we must not conform to these things. They are utter insanity. They are in violation of God's word. They're in violation of our own nature. Those things aren't of God. Those things aren't good or perfect for you. We have to renew our minds by reading God's word, by accepting biblical counseling, by accepting correction from our fathers. If you don't correct your child, the Bible says, you hate your child and you are essentially ushering them to destruction when you just sit back and allow your children to lead you as the parent children shouldn't lead their parents parents should lead their children but by all accounts Zion now Zion has led her father this whole time he has said that he wanted to sit back and let her teach him what he needs to know and what he needs to do that my friends is a scent that is a Ahab that is a weak man stand on the word if you don't stand for something you will fall for anything if you know somebody struggling with this perhaps you have a child struggling with this my counsel to you is to stand on the word of God preach the word of God in love preach the scriptures pray for them and provide biblical discipline and correction and whatever they do when they get older and become an adult that is between them and god but if they are living under your roof you have an obligation as a parent to lead them down the path of righteousness by providing discipline like our heavenly father does for us 
correction and preaching the word of God because this is a mental and spiritual issue. Deliverance takes place when we are renewing our mind through the preaching and the washing of the word of God. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content like this, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Like this video. I'll be back next week with another one. This is Pastor Frederick. This is by the book. Peace.